Hello and welcome to a new video about Applied Control Engineering. This time we want to identify a system. Yeah? This time we want to see if a system is controllable, if it's easily controllable or just controllable or even hardly controllable. What system are we using? Well, we're using this as a system. Yeah? So we are controlling the temperature of this metal part here. Yeah? There is a Peltier element inside. This Peltier element is transporting heat from this to here or actually the other way around so it will heat up this yeah? you see there on the on this side there is a heat sink yeah? can we see it yes there is the heat sink this is getting cold and this is getting hot and this the belt element is transporting this here is controlling the belt element this is controlled by the arduino and the arduino is currently setting is currently giving around 10% of heating power to this element yeah? constantly yeah? there is no controlling this is the correcting variable yeah? this is the control element yeah? and the, the correcting the correcting variable is currently set to 10% I can adjust the correcting variable with the help of this of this point centimeter here yeah? and well, I will then trigger a new correcting variable. I will do a correcting variable jump and out of the reaction of the system, which we will record, yeah, we can read out we can read out what it is. Okay? What it is and if it's controllable or not. This is the goal. We want to identify the system. We want to also use a standard function as a substitute of the system and we want to see how controllable this is. Good. Let's see here on the computer. So currently, this is actually what what is adjusted. Yeah? So you see here, currently 9.5%. Here, set point in is already to 29.5%. If I trigger this, we will jump with the set point to the to 29%. So we're doing 20% not set point jump, we're doing 20% correcting variable jump. I will do this. Yeah? I will trigger now this yeah, by the press of this button. Back. You see, it reacted now 29.5, so 20% more correcting variable. And we will see how the temperature here is reacting. Yeah? Currently, we have seen it was 35 dot something. Yeah? Let's see how, how where we are. It was 36, 36 degree. And now we're waiting. Now we're waiting. What will happen? Okay. By the way, internally this thing is calculating with percent. And well, the, the correcting variable is already given in percent. And the temperature 5 degrees 0 percent. And 55 degree is 100%. So we have a span of 50 degree, 5 to 55, 0 to 100%. Okay? This is later important if we calculate the gain factor of the, of the system. Yeah? But now let's just wait until it's settled. Okay? I will switch to 50 minutes. Okay, so this looks like from a picture book. Huh? This is our reaction of the system. Huh? I will copy this now. I will place this in a file. Huh? And we want to measure 
rise time and delay time. Okay, this we are going to do and I show you how. Okay, I will also trigger now again this nine and a half set point yeah? because then we are going down as well and we can see if it, the reaction in up direction is the same as in down direction. Yeah? This sometimes is not the same, exactly the same. However, you could verify this. Yeah? I am advising to do so. Yeah? This is... Then you see at least if you could expect rubbles going up or down. Okay? So, yeah, let's trigger the set point down again. I always say set, but the correcting variable, of course. Let's trigger the correcting variable to nine and a half, and the temperature should also react again. And it does. Okay, so let's see if the cooling down was pretty much the same. I will stop now the scrolling here. I will use my cursors. I will move this to here and this to where almost nothing has changed. This is 940 seconds around, 950, 940 seconds. Let's see how, how big this is here to here. My, uh, yeah, looks pretty much the same. Uh, maybe the cooling down is a little bit faster, a little bit, yeah, but it looks pretty symmetrical, I would say. Yeah? So this is good. So our system seems to be a symmetric system. Yeah? Okay, so now let's start to analyze the thing. Okay, let's start to analyze the thing. What we are going to do is we are using Word. It now looks strange, right? But it's working. Yeah? So I show you what I mean. Yeah? First, we have to find out how many centimeters we have between two lines. So we're just drawing a line, zoom it in. Yeah, looking good. I would say, so this should be the length roughly. Yeah. So 1.7 centimeters is two and a half minutes. Yeah. I'll write it down here. 1.7 centimeters equals uh, two and a half minutes, so 60, 120, 150 seconds. Okay. This is our scale. And now we are going to do, do, do this. We will measure what we are interested in actually is the is how what is the rise time and what is the delay time. So I will I will also draw here this Inflect, inflection, inflection point tangent. Or well, at least I will try to do so. No, it does not look too bad, I would say. Yeah. And I will also draw here a line up. What is this? This is not a line. I've used the wrong. So I'm just using, like I would use it with rulers, okay? Also here, is it? Yes. Looking good, zoom in. Yeah. This one we will move to here. Okay, it does not look too bad. And here, this we will move to here. Uh -huh. 
So here we started at the left line we started and this has now 0 0.22 centimeters broad. Okay, so 0 0.22 centimeters, 0 0.22 centimeters equals, huh? now we have to use calculator, uh, 0 0.22 divided by uh, 1.7 multiplied by 150 equals 19.4 seconds. Yeah? This is the delay time, 19.4 seconds. Make it German style with a comma. 19.4 yeah? seconds. And this here, this is marking the rise time. So also, let's look here, we have 2.45 centimeters. Yeah? So it's 2.45 centimeters, 2.45 centimeter, and this actually equals 2.45 divided by 1.7 multiplied by 150, 216. Dot two seconds. Huh? Rise time 216.2. Okay. Now we have calculated the rise time and the delay time. And if I'm now calculating the ratio, so 216.2 divided by 19.4, uh, uh, we are ending up, up at 11.14. Uh, so we are bigger than 10. Yeah? This means it's easily, easily, how easily, easy, easy controllable. <laughs> controllable. This is with double L. Yeah? This is actually the reason. Yeah? Now we just measured this out here. We just used the magnificent tool of Microsoft Word <laughs> to analyze our graph. Yeah? It's easy controllable. Yeah? And we have a point of infliction, so it looks like it is a PT2 element. Yeah? What I'm going to do now is I want to find out the parameters of the PT2 element so that I can replace my really existing system with a theoretical PT2 element. Yeah? Therefore, I will make a table and I will note the temperature on every every 10 seconds, so I think this should be sufficient, every 10 seconds of this temperature rise. Yeah? And then I will draw a diagram and draw a PT2 diagram above and see if I can bring those two to match. Okay? So this is what I'm going to do next. Okay? Make a table. Okay, and now to the analysis of the system. What I have done is I simply took, I watched the video yeah, where I recorded this and I simply wrote down at which video index I had which temperature. Every 10 seconds I wrote the temperature down. Yeah? But I just watched the video. And here, if we do have a scaling of 5 to 55 degrees, here 36.06 degrees Celsius would be 62.12%. Okay? This is at zero. And this is jump zero. After zero seconds, I have this. Okay? And I've made this, and in the end, yeah, I'm reaching 91%. Yeah? And this 91%, this was 50.5, this was eight, after 840 seconds, I reached this 50.5 degrees Celsius, 91%. So this was 28.8% more than before. Okay? So we made a correcting variable jump of 20% and reached 28.88% output, more output. Yeah? This means my 
my proportional factor of my system here seems to be 1.44, which is actually this divided by this. Huh? This is 1.44, I gain more. Okay? This is K. Okay? What I've also done here, here we have the here we have the seconds. Yeah? And how many gain we do have? Yeah? Which factor is there? Yeah? I will copy this and put this here in my in my Excel sheet and then we see aha ooh, it seems like the, I made a typo somewhere huh? but this is our test system this this uh, orange line huh? this orange line is our test system and we want to adjust the PT2 system accordingly so we said the PT2 system shall be K shall be 1.44 yeah? And then here I have the two T's. Yeah? If I can adjust, for instance, T10 and, and T170, yeah? this, this two T's, you see, aha, uh -huh, it does not fit. The end value does fit pretty good, yeah? of course, yeah? but here in the transition not. Now I make the bigger time constant bigger. Yeah? So I will make 155. Actually, this would be almost like this one, 216 and 19. I should try this. Yeah? See? Aha! Yeah, it changed something. So let's use this 216 and 19. Yeah? See how this fits? Aha, it's too, it's too slow. Okay. So use 180, maybe. Ooh, looking already pretty nice. The delay them should be a little bit more. So this I have to use a little bit more, like 30. Yeah. See, aha, uh -huh, this at the beginning looks good. We are a little bit too slow in the end. Yeah. So I should use 160 maybe. Yeah. See, ooh, ooh, this looks already pretty promising here. Maybe a little bit too soon. So I will add here just 35 maybe Ooh, looking good but now we are here again a little bit late so we I'm changing to 155 uh, still a little bit too much 150 book Ooh, this now maybe yeah, slightly maybe yeah 36 uh, 37 Let's see, 145, it's getting better and better. Ooh, this one I like. You see, now our real system and our PT2 system, they are pretty much alike. Okay, pretty much alike. What does it mean? I have now calculated the parameters of the PT2 system. So, actually, our natural frequency is this. Yeah? I will copy this and write it here in our in our analysis tab. Our natural frequ frequency is this, 0 0.014. Yeah? This is our damping factor, 1.24. Yeah? Copy it here, the value please. Yeah. And T1 and T2 was 145 and 37. Well it's just it's just redundancy, right? Because this T1 and T2 I can calculate to omega n and t. This is my system. Okay. Now I've analyzed my system. I have found that it shall be uh, Controllable, controllable, easily controllable. Yeah? And I even found out the parameters with our subst substitution, theoretical substitution, which is a PT2 element. Yeah? So, and the jump response 
should look the same. So I will substitute for further for further analysis of the system or our design of the controller, uh, pick of control parameters. I will use this PT2 system, Tutuzu, what we just analyzed. This is how you analyze a system. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.